decided she'd had enough. Francine, did you premeditate and plan the death of your husband? Now, for the first time on television, Farrah Fawcett in her Emmy award-winning role. And for my life, ran for the life of my kids. An emotionally charged issue, a truly compelling movie, a true story, The Burning Bed, 8.30 Wednesday on 7. Geography at the ground, Lou, has confused a lot of the players, but once they get used to it, I know it's going to be a top standard game. Set of outs again, knocked out by Madden. Jimmy Cracker missed that one out of out. Fraser to get a hand pass out, but it was a wild one. Smith doing well down there at half back, sends the ball out wide. And Seary couldn't hold that. He was well smothered that time by Harms. A long hand pass over to Madden. Another one coming back there to uh, Williams. Back it goes now to Black with a long kick over the half forward line up towards full forward flying high with Mackenzie. Juggle that one. He's trying to claim the mark. Gets a hand pass back to Ashman, but he's under tremendous pressure there. Can't get out. Evans copped one a bit high. Tries to force his way through. We see Robertson tried to kick it off the ground, and there's no big pardons out there at the moment. They're really having a dig. I don't know whether the 5,000 pound prize money is spurring them on. I think that's their pride, Pete, because they're very keen both sides. A ball up about 10 metres out from the Carlton goal. McCann, a good knockout. Crocker couldn't get clear. Down goes German. They pounce on top of him. And the umpire's going to ball it up about uh, 15 metres out from the Carlton goal. They're 20 points to North Melbourne, 23. And we're right on the 24-minute mark of this first quarter. Close to time on in the opening term. Knocked down by McKenzie. Kick by Williams, doesn't travel much distance. Ashman went for the punch away. Smith, bad hand pass. Arsiri counts it over the line. So a throw in. Left forward pocket for Carlton. Carlton starting off well, but North Melbourne pegged them back and now lead by three points, 3-5 three to 3-2. Three McKenzie tapped it down. It's all North Melbourne. McDonald underneath it, McClure and Reese jones And Ben Buckley might be paid the mark for North Melbourne. Hasn't been a regular play with North. I think he played three games in the early part of the season, Peter. Comes from Tasmania. Yeah, I think we saw him in a night match, Lou, didn't we, yeah. uh, initially? And the crackers have been fairly quiet. Jimmy looks with a hand pass. Dimitriou, just wide of the circle. Glenn Dinning and Duell. Duell's had the better of that duel so far and succeeds again in getting the ball away from his opponent. Good tackle on Larkin by Dean. Duell. Oh, oh, there's a box line. on between Larkin and uh, Dean, Pete. They're really at that superb we've had today so far. And the game's only been going about uh, 25 and a half minutes, so certainly... Uh, keeping this crowd on their toes and the ground uh, gradually filling up Pete yes it was uh, looking rather sparse when indeed we opened the telecast and a lot of them were standing outside enjoying a few cans of that well-known brew and they came in uh, just as the first quarter got underway North Melbourne got underway late too Carlton jumped them North Melbourne now looking a lot better Dorotic gets met solidly again but he's okay is on to Williams Williams at left centre week Goes for the long kick. That'll be just about down into the pocket. And McKenzie takes a good mark in front of Law. He's on top of Law at the moment. 50 metres out. He could just about score from there. It's not a bad sort of a kick. And marked by Crocker. Or did it go through? It's the former. Crocker's mark. Two Carlton players up. None down. And that teamwork there. Jimmy Cracker got bundled out of the way. That might be out of bounds. It is just as Ackerley picked it up. And it'll be a boundary throw at adjacent to the interchange area, which is close to the centre wing position. I think it's the widest interchange area I've ever seen. It must go for about uh, 20 or 30 metres. McClure and McDonald, the two max. McClure wins it. Kick well smothered. All driven up towards the centre wing position. Meldrum got one at the back. Good mark taken down there for Carlton by Robertson. Robertson 50 metres out. The kick is not a good one, though. And Ackley content to rush the ball through for only one point. And so Carlton now. Three goals, three, 21 points. To North Melbourne, three, five, 23. Two points the difference. As I said before, statistics courtesy of the Richards family. Well, you wouldn't think she was a Bachelor of Commerce. <laughs> Can't count up to one. <laughs> so Stephen McCann to bring the ball back into play before this now near capacity crowd at the over. Only holds about 15,000 uh, fans as I understand it, Lou. Down to road. 
wrote a short pass and that's a ripper the mark is taken by robertson and robertson would be right on the 50 meter line still haven't seen the magic of the cracker brothers so far but he's got a chance to put his side back in front and trailed by two points well kennedy's got the job of tagging uh, phil cracker down there on the forward block he hasn't left his side uh, pete he's done a good job so far yeah well but uh, you can't keep him down for long that looks pretty good the crowd behind the goals like it at full points and so robertson putting through his first goal and carlton hit the lead again four three to three five and we're just on the 27 minute mark of this first quarter and it's been a pretty entertaining game uh, that's a good mark and of course uh, the goal a result that's put carlton in front by four points they're 27 to 23 back in the center again sun trying to break through but not yet it's very very hazy here at uh, the oval as the ball is forced out now to blackwell from robertson back over the half forward line there's a push in the back if i've ever seen one against uh Aspen, but the umpire gave it the all clear and the result is another goal well, i reckon that was a push in the back so the score is five goals three 33 carlton to north melbourne three goals five 23 a difference of 10 points and we're just on the 29 uh, minute mark and uh, i reckon that was a push in the back uh, by rod osman which i don't think few people would argue uh, with you luke but being a professional as he is he kept on playing he didn't wait for the umpire to give the result and uh, we see a goal go to carl back in the center no we're not because the quarter time siren was gone if uh, we have such a thing i don't know what it'll be but uh, <laughs> quarter time and the quarter time uh, score was carlton in front five goals 333 to north melbourne three goals 523 but it's certainly been an historic day and i think the people here would uh, be entertained They've, and uh, people sitting back uh, home in australia would be pretty proud of the way these two sides are performing after all they haven't been out of football for a few weeks now and uh, north melbourne longer than carton that's too, right and i think you've got to give them credit uh, because they have looked after themselves and uh, put up pretty good showy today yeah i knew they had to perform well and they're certainly doing that here carton in front but north melbourne got off to a slower start but they're looking better now scoreboard at quarter time in the courage cup from the oval in london the seven network shows carton 5 3 33 north melbourne 3 5 23 we'll be back shortly are made to mow lawns but only the best have these points in common they must be easy to start and very simple to operate they must be quiet and smoke free and have an extremely efficient grass catching system they must be powerful and economical and utterly reliable they must have a worldwide reputation for excellence and a nationwide network of authorized dealers and if they have all of these things then they must be a Honda in October, Blue Thunder. Foster's 1986 Australian Formula One Grand Prix. The joys of water. Relaxation. A time to unwind. <laughs> yes. Well, Nilex have invented a new type of hose. New Nilex Triple Flex. It doesn't kink like other hoses. So, with new Nilex Triple Flex, you can carry straight on watering. Don't get bitter and twisted this year. Enjoy your gardening with new Nilex Triple Flex. Tuesday night, look who's back in town. Let's go, Pinewood! Michael J. Fox in the crazy holiday laugh that's got just about everything. Hey, what are you guys doing? Michael's in love in Poison Ivy. I uh, only have eyes for you. You don't quit, do you? Turn Tuesday night into fun with Michael J. Fox. Not only beautiful, but smart. In Poison Ivy at 8.30 on 7. 
Thursday night. I killed you, Dad. A deathbed confession from a hitman has Hunter on the move for a mafia boss. It was Marco Brokaw. Marco, Marco, Marco. Hunter, 9.30 Thursday on 7. I don't know whether they're sitting back and watching Carlton versus North Melbourne, but there's the quarter time score. And it's the Blues 5-3-33. To North Melbourne, three goals, 5-23. The goal kickers for Carlton, Ashman, Evans, Murphy, Shane Robertson and McKenzie. And for North Melbourne, their goals have been kicked by Fairley, Ackerley and German. The stats at quarter time. And, uh, well, it's uh, fairly interesting at this particular stage with uh, Carlton and North Melbourne both uh, having a fair percentage of the ball. But uh, the Blues obviously using it better towards the end of that term. And they hold an advantage of 10 points. Five goals, three to three goals five at quarter time and uh, certainly got off to a fairly interesting start there we see Carlton Reserves coach Cole Kinnear who's in charge of the boys today and he's certainly taking the game very seriously making a point to the players Peter Dean looking on and uh, he's sending them off for a better effort in the second quarter there are the quarter time stats and we see Carlton have had two more kicks they've had six more marks a bit more superior in the air six more free kicks too the handball's exactly even Carlton winning in the hit out department with Justin Madden doing well 15 metre penalties and shots at goal are absolutely identical so it's been a great first quarter of action and there's the scene at the Oval in London as we prepare for the second quarter now with the Kangaroos about to come back and plenty of Australians in the crowd over there no doubt enjoying it as Lou mentioned there's been plenty of cheering from what is a large crowd at the Oval as Cole Kinnear makes his way from the Oval I think we'll return to the ground now and of course uh, we've had the odd football side or two go away in uh, the last 12 months and make headlines with their antics on the plane and as we return to Peter Landy and Lou Richards gentlemen how did the players behave on the plane on the way over well Pete they behaved themselves pretty well I dare say some members of the touring party recovered from their jet lag earlier than others but really the behavior of both Carlton and North Melbourne boys was exemplary second quarter from the oval with Carlton leading by 10 points 5-3-33 to 3-5-23 after North Melbourne snatched the lead in the time on period of the first term So, who uh, has been suffering from a sore throat over the last couple of days. Road. Knocks the ball on down towards half back, half forward. Now Road again. Just off the edge of the square. Road's kicked to half forward. Knocked away very solidly by McCann. A chance for Robertson. Short pass to Larkin. Out of bounds. throw-in will take place. McClure and McDonald. One by McClure. Good tackle on Robertson. Stalemate according to umpire Ian Clayton. And the bounce again on the outer wing. Which is the gasometer wing. As indeed it was at Arden Street. Come back out and go upstairs. McClure got one on the back but umpire Ian Clayton says play on. And the crackers have been fairly quiet so far, and that kick's not a good one either. It's picked up by Dorotic. Dorotic to half forward. Ashman he kicked the last goal in the first quarter, and he's got a chance to bring up the first one of the second term. One of the veterans in the Carlton side. And Rod Ashman about uh, when he kicks the ball, 45 metres from goal. No wind here today. Perfect day for football. And Ashman's kick is off target and it's out of bounds so a throw will take place in the Carlton left forward pocket as we approach the two minute mark of the second term 10 points the difference in favor of Carlton or got off to a slow start Robertson kicked that out on the full he was trying to show the crowd that he can play soccer but uh, that'll be a penalty free kick to go to law down there in the back pocket for North Melbourne I said before North got off to a slow start they bounced back they actually hit the front in the uh, first quarter but North Melbourne are in a bit of trouble now because they trail by 10 points oh there's a good mark to Crocker strong mark and Cro Crocker's got that mark out there on the 50 meter defense line not a bad sort of a kick up towards Melbourne on his own he caught one on the back that time from Glenn Denny he's running, uh, breaking away
very nicely. The up, he actually went the, uh, <laughs> he went wrong, the wrong way. way. They had me confused then, and uh, his mates were yelling out. They finally get it back, Carl, and taken away by Williams. Well tackled by Smith. Couldn't get clear, and the umpire will board it up right on the point of the square. He was going the wrong way for sure, Meldrum. <laughs> he was. Well, it may have been all that uh, air travel that's got to his head. He might be suffering with a bit of jet lag. Ball knocked out by McClure. That was a good one over to Blackwell. Back it comes to Madden. Madden's kick is off the side of his boot. And that was punched out by Williams. Williams, uh, Pete, hasn't played a bad uh, game so far. One of the best on the ground, isn't he? Certainly is. Doing a great job. And the sun almost through those clouds now. So, well, it's a perfect day for football, actually. And the ground is in perfect condition. A magnificent uh, ground. This The turf is just out of this world. Ball picked up by Bucker. They soon smothered him. Evans was the foul. That's Reese Jones trying to oh, get out about three column a bit high, but the umpire said play on. We see uh, the Carlton skipper having a pot shot at goal, but it's uh, through for one point. So Carlton move on to five goals, 434. To North Melbourne, 3 5, 23. And we're just over the three minute mark of the second quarter. Well, the crowd looking good here today. We don't get the same barricades we do in. Uh, in Australia, but that's understandable because they're just uh, they're all impartial here. That's right. <laughs> Short kick. And the ball is picked up by McDonald there at full back. Doesn't quite know where to go. Uh, McDonald, he's had a bit of a good look around London. Seems to like the type of people that are here, particularly when they're of a different sex as the ball is picked up now by uh, Larkin goes out wide towards the uh, half uh, forward on a chance for a crack and a picked up Jimmy crack it clear goes for a pass and it's a good one he's found Glenn Denny oh well tackled by Wayne Harms he could have gone back for a kick but uh, ball picked up by Fairley who incidentally got a nasty knock on the nose as the ball comes back punched out by Rhoda long punch coming in to meet it now as Fraser Murphy shows a lot of dash runs to the center of the ground let's fly and down it goes over the half forward line. McD uh, McKenzie comes out. He's well tackled by uh, Ackley. And finally, Ackley forces out of bounds about 40 metres around uh, from the uh, Carlton goal. We're five minutes into the second quarter. It's uh, Carlton five goals, 4.34 to North Melbourne, 3.5.23. Boundary thrown on the 50 metre line. McDonald and McKenzie. Evans. Umpires being fairly lenient so far today, which is sensible umpiring under these conditions. Just about a goal. And a through. Robertson through by Robertson. Had to wait on Bruce Coleman's signal, which is uh, sometimes hard to decipher. But Robertson putting through his uh, first, no, his second goal. And so Carlton go further ahead. Well, I think the umpires have got to be a little bit lenient, Peter, because uh, staying at the same hotel. And that was Robertson's second goal. And Jimmy Buckley, the Carlton runner, comes on with Warren Ralph. And coming back onto the ground, or coming onto the ground for the first time today, is Darren Ogier. But Carlton now establishing a pretty good lead. Robertson's second goal. The other goal kickers have been Ashman, Evans, Murphy and McKenzie for Carlton. Knocked down by Madden. The Blues looking good at the moment. Runs further forward once more up towards half forward. Up away from Robertson. Murphy. Gets clear of Buckley, has a flying shot at goal, but it's off target and over the head of uh, Law and through for one behind. So Carlton now, six goals, five, 41, leading North Melbourne, three, five, 23. After the difference at quarter time was 10 points. Six and a half minutes gone. Law. McDonald should have taken the mark. Reese Jones has copped a couple today. Evans, 50 metres out for his second goal. Off target and again one point. Well done, Bruce. Getting better. You can decipher his hand signals. You're better than me. John Kennedy and Greg Miller on the boundary line looking a little worried at the moment. Well, John Kennedy wouldn't be too happy with the boys. No. They've gone into a bit of a slump here after looking uh, reasonably good in that uh, halfway through the first quarter, Pete. Seven minutes gone. The ball back into play. Uh, 42 uh, Carlton to North Melbourne 23 Carlton looking a lot uh, stronger as the ball goes over their half forward line uh, Law was attacked pretty severely that time by McKenzie the ball is out of bounds about 50 meters around from the Carlton goal well the Sun uh, is finally through Pete but uh, there's still plenty of uh, haze or uh, whatever you'd call it here in London or smog 
over to German. I thought uh, possibly Dean got into his back, but the umpire didn't think so, and the ball will be a throw-in from... And the shot of John Kennedy, still looking very, very serious. He's had a pretty uh, keen watch on his player since he's been over here, too. Or picked up by Larkin. Over it goes now to Ackley. Ackley drives it well over the centre field position up towards centre half forward. Picked up nicely by Harms. Cop one that time from Phil Cracker. Ball pushed out wide going after it now down there in the forward pocket. Good tackles. We see the ball picked up again by Meldrum. Over it goes to Kennedy. Back to Meldrum again. Carlton missing about. Finally it's squished out of the pack. And that's Harms right on the boundary line, but a shocking kick by Wayne Harms. He took a big divot out of the ground that time, and the ball is out of bounds, up towards the centre wing position. So into this quarter by eight minutes, and North Melbourne, three goals, 5.23 to Carlton, 6.642. There's number 36 out there, but he's not listed on our list, and I wouldn't like to say it's Atkins, but as we see the ball picked up now by Smith, Borks. Smith uh, clear, drives the ball back, looking there for Jimmy Cracker, but he's well smothered and a great mark taken in defence that time by John Doherty. Doherty hit you, copped a pretty heavy knock in the first quarter, but he's playing well now. Ashman, 50 metres out, should just about score. Not so. Over the boundary line, eluded Ogier, and he's got a bad mark on his day, and what Ashman not too happy with that. Pete wearing number 36 is Steele. Yeah, Steele is uh, normally number seven. That's right. Just to see if you're on the ball, though. Well, Robertson's kick is off target again, and one point. I was tempted to say Atkins, Pete, but I... <laughs> <laughs> now, the hair's not blonde enough, Lou. That's right. <laughs> they can trick you on that, too. Glenn Dinning goes very wide. The pockets here are wide at the oval. McCann couldn't take the mark. Ashman rushes one tackle, gets around Ackley, shoots the hand pass, back to Evans, around Hickey. Oh. Top one from Law. Down he goes, almost in the back. Law comes out with the ball. The umpires have umpired sensibly and not paid Tiggy Touchwood free kicks. Steele, McCann, Larkin. Those Lee Matthews like legs. You go well on the Sun Tour, I reckon. Matthew Larkin, German. Long hand pass. Let's see if uh, Jimmy Cracker can do something. Jimmy Cracker, short pass into the goal square. That's just about a mark to McDonald's to fairly. And Reese Jones is having a box on here with McCann. Now Rustil goes over to have a go at him, but uh, they've settled down a bit. In a pretty fiery game for this match, Pete. Oh, nothing too serious at the moment. Well, I think that was pretty serious out there. And there's a goal kick that time by Fairley. Fairley's second goal. Oh, a badly needed one for North Melbourne. As Corker Mealis comes on for Carlton. And coming off the ground is Bernie Evans. Limping, I would almost suspect, with a hamstring. And he's had a few problems with that in the past, Bernie Evans. Let's hope it's not. Because uh, they can be very troublesome. Replay of that mark and goal. And Fairley putting through his second for the Kangaroos. And the badly needed one, as I mentioned. And they now trail by 14 points. Bernie Evans receiving treatment from the physiotherapist down there on the boundary line. As I said, Bernie has had a few problems with the hammy in the past. Back into the centre. 14 points the difference. Fairly second goal. And pass comes out to Reese Jones with Jimmy Cracker. Good tackle by Cracker. He's just about caught with the ball, and umpire Ian Clayton has indeed paid the free kick to Jimmy Cracker for that very, very good tackle. Cracker gets the hand pass out. Driven further forward, up towards the centre wing position. It'll be a boundary throw in after that kick from Crocker. So adjacent to the interchange area. The boundary throw in, 6 7 to 4 5. And we're just on the 12 minute mark of the second quarter. Ball knocked out by Madden. Chance here now for Corker Mealis. Good play as he drives the ball back up there towards the Carlton half four. Strong mark to, uh, to Crocker. Top one that time uh, from uh, Ogier. Out wide. Demetrio got oh. one in the face from Rhys Jones and the umpires call play on. As we see Larkin give a long hand pass over to Robertson. A short pass looking for Steele but coming out nicely to take the mark. Therefore, uh, North Melbourne is fairly. He's gone for a shot at the goal. Cracker at the back. He'll go for a fly if he can. Oh, they swamped him. He had no hope. Good play on the part of Corker Mealis. Backing up well there at the full back position. Sends it out wide towards Williams. But down he goes. And this gives Smith an even break. 
Short pass. Oh, Jimmy Cracker's in trouble here. Down he goes, but he won't give in. Look at that for a brilliant play, but couldn't get clear. Corker Mealis in the thick of things, and the umpire will ball it up right on the 50-metre mark. So it's 50 metres out from the North Melbourne goal. 13 minutes gone of the second quarter. It's North Melbourne 4-5 to Carlton 6-7. Bernie Evans still in a bit of trouble. Kicked one goal in the first quarter. Knocked out by McCann. And a hurried kick up there by Carlton. But that's uh, Larkin taking the ball. Balks nicely around his Carlton opponent. He sends the ball up towards the full forward position. But Dowdish, one out that time, takes an easy mark. Goes for a, a pass looking for Reese Jones. After him is Buckley. Reese Jones overruns the ball, goes after it again, spins out of the pack beautifully that time. And oh, a bit high. They're going after me today. He's going to box him again there with German. That was the square up there because Dimitri had caught one from him before. I don't know what you were saying before, but I reckon they're pretty serious out there. There's no messing about. <laughs> and I think if they go to a dinner night, they have to separate the players, put them up each end of the room. There's been a bit of uh, ill feeling out there, and they're still having a bit of a dip. Poor old Reese Jones went that uh, went down that time, but he's been also dishing it out too. You win him and wear him, Lee, don't you? Certainly, uh, Ian uh, Law going after him. John Law. John Law, I should say. Ian Law used to play cricket. <laughs> uh, 29 points, North Melbourne. He was a bad driver for Hawthorne. Yeah. North Melbourne, 4 5 29 to Carlton, 6 7 43. It'll be Reese Jones to take that free kick on the centre wing position. And that's something that probably never happened in a VFL game. The official runner, Jimmy Buckley, kicking the ball. Well, uh, what's happening here? It's going downfield, I should imagine. Yes. Take the free kick will be Ogier. So Ogier are about 60 metres out from goal for Carlton. There's the kick on its way. North Melbourne have got Glenn Denning playing down there at fullback. Now they had him on the forward line, but he wasn't go, going so well against uh, Bruce Still. Another bit of a wrestle going on again. It's a free kick to Murphy, Luther on the shoulder. Well, let's see what happens. It'll be a free kick to Murphy. I don't know, I think it might be going to North Melbourne. Going, uh, to Murphy. going to Murphy. Yes, it'll be Fraser Murphy to take that free kick from about 15 metres out. On a bit of an angle, but should kick this goal. Well, there's the replay of the free kick, and we'll let you make up your own mind. Six goals, 7.43, Carlton to North, 4.5.29. Difference of 14 points. This could make the difference 20 points, if that's to be successful. Into this quarter, by just over 13 minutes. There's the kick. And it's a goal. So Carlton now move on to uh, seven goals, seven. 49 and uh, North Melbourne four goals 529 well the apartments adjacent to the oval have uh, similar scenes right around them you'll see open windows and people uh, sticking the necks out trying to see what actually is going on 20 points the difference 49 plays 29 in favor of Carlton that was Fraser Murphy's second goal one fan came up and asked, are there any rules? He said, uh, perhaps no knives and no guns might be the only thing applicable. Steel, McDonald, left half forward. McDonald, a short pass in the road as Paul Melvin. Now Carlton looking the more consistent side at the moment. Lose combination. Hopefully no other effect from their grand final letdown, or so it would seem so far today. Hickey got grabbed seemingly when not in position. Short pass, Dimitriou. He's had a running battle with David Rhys-Jones so far this afternoon. Well, McCann should have taken that mark. Kennedy gets the hand pass out. It's taken by Wayne Harms. Harms has kicked a long one. Hickey again. Hickey right on the 50-metre line. Can score, but it may be off target. In fact, it's marked right on the line down there for Carlton by Harms. said probably suffered the worst dose of jet lag in so far as the Carlton players were concerned but he's recovered well Madden to Fraser Murphy at left half back blank Murphy's already kicked two goals Blackwell throws it well after the mark was spilt by Ogier loose ball on centre wing picked up by Crocker Dimitriou good tackle but it's onto Reese Jones back to Murphy Murphy at centre wing puts Carlton deep into attack up towards their half forward line once more. Robertson's tackle is not uh, good enough to stop North Melbourne going forward and now it's Ross Smith 
showing plenty of pace at centre field. He'll have to kick it now. He's well shepherded. The ball up towards full forward. If Madden in the road for Carlton takes the easiest of marks. Well, that was a bad kick by uh, Smith after doing such good work to get the ball down there. There's a good pass from uh, Madden over to Meldrum at half back on the 50 metre line. Goes for short ones. Oh! That's Kennedy copping one in the back, and the umpires paid the free kick. Short pass, it'll be okay. Grabbed by Road over to Melbourne. Got one around the chops that time from German. So there's no big partons out there. As we see Black will go for the long kick up there looking for uh, McClure. But there's a safe mark taken by Ackley. A very steady player as he sends the ball back. And the mark taken by uh, North Melbourne Stevenson out there towards the centre wing position. Gone right across the ground. Certainly not going towards the goals. The charge now for Phil Cracker. Hand pass coming over. McDonald fumbles that one. He'll give it back to Cracker. Phil Cracker with the ball now on the centre wing position. Goes for a pass. And it's always a good one. This one is no exception over to McCann. Back it goes now to McDonald. Well tackled by Doherty. But he shrugs him up. The kick is not much good. It doesn't travel any great distance at all. Madden standing up there and taking a great mark in defence at fullback for Carl. Goes for the hand pass. Out it goes to Road in the back pocket. Road with another one over to Wayne Harms. Playing very well there today. Back to Road. Road's kick is out wide towards the wing position again. Ball hits the deck. Down goes Kennedy. Picked up by Smith doing a great job in defence. Looking there for Fairley. And uh, even though Dorothy's tried to go to Big Thump, he took that mark out there on the 50 metre attacking line. Now, Fairley's a pretty good kick, but I don't know whether he can kick this one. English on the top, There's English on the ground. They had to drain his knee, too, uh, yesterday, because he had fluid on the knee. That's a long kick by Fairley, but it won't quite make the distance. Steve, oh, we see uh, Reese Jones copped another one right across the jump. The umpire called the play on, and this is the allows uh, Aspen to get it out wide. There's a great duel now between Hickey and uh, Fraser Murphy. Crazy Murphy fumbles, he goes down, this gives Hickey the break. He's a real terrier, that guy, as the ball goes wide towards North Melbourne's half-forward line. Actually, it's on the centre wing position, about 80 metres around uh, from the North Melbourne goal. Reese Jones has been in the walls here today in the hands of the train. Boundary throw in, picked up by Ashman, appreciating the wide-open spaces here of the Kennington Oval. The mark taken for Carlton by Darren Ogier, who started on the bench. Glenn Dinning. Blackwell should have been first to get there, but Smith beats him to it. Well, had a great game in defence, beat this fellow. Yes, now let's see if he can kick it better than he did. Boy, he's not going for a pass here. He's got it on a cracker. And Jimmy Cracker has a shot at goal. He's just about put it through, I think. He has. It's a goal and a badly needed one for North. Jimmy Cracker's first goal. And North Melbourne's fifth, 5-5 five, five to 7-7, seven, seven, 14 points the difference. Well, Cracker, as Pete said before, and Phil, they've both been pretty quiet, but you can't keep them all down. Smith doing a marvellous job out there on the half-back line, and uh, he didn't take any chances this time. Gave it over to Jimmy Cracker, and, of course, the result is a goal. Five. And this is the way Jimmy Cracker moves. He's a brilliant player. One of the most, well, the two Cracker boys, two of the most exciting players that ever played league football. 21 minutes into the second quarter. It's 14 points the difference. That was Jimmy Cracker's first goal. And the Kangaroos staying in contention with the grand finalist Carlton for the Courage Cup. Umpire Ian Clayton has found a free kick going Carlton's way for a high tackle. The recipient is Rod Ashman. North just can't get that other goal that's needed to no. put them really within striking distance. But it's 14 points the difference. Ashman looking for Madden. They just about dragged that one down. Robertson. Right foot snapshot. That looks pretty good. Bruce Combin will appreciate it as a goal. One point, though. I think if I sit here till 1990, I won't be able to work out Bruce's signals. Well, he's not doing a bad job down there, just to say. <laughs> he's, a, he's about 70 years of age. And moving very well. Glenn Dinning. McCann. Doltich. Jimmy Cracker. Jimmy Cracker, short pass over the head of Ackley, unfortunately for North, but he gets a good bounce. Could have. Now he's got it okay. Now Reese Jones. I think he's bleeding from the mouth. Ackley again. Ackley this time, long kick up the full forward. Wayne Harms in front, decides to play on. Takes the hand pass to English. Burke. Road. Road short of the centre. Carlton playing in front. Oh, the jumper ripped right off him. <laughs> I don't know who that was. 
And a chance for the Blues to go further forward. And it's driven up towards their forward pocket. <laughs> that was very strange. Now a chance for Ogier. He's gone for the hand pass to Ashton. Oh, too long. Buckley overruns it. Fraser Murphy for goal number three. Only one point. So the scoreboard, Carlton 7-9, 51, North Melbourne 5-5, 35, as we approach the 23-minute mark of the second quarter at the Kennington Oval in London for the Courage Cup. And the difference, 16 points. Been a pretty tough and torrid game here today. Rhys Jones has been on the wrong end of uh, many uh, clashes here today. As Pete said before, walking around with the nose uh, bleeding very heavily. Oh, that's uh, going for the ball as Williams had lost his jumper. After the cost of this trip will probably be taken out of his wages. The cost of the jumpers that comes back now to Reese Jones, but he didn't go after that one. Ball pushed out wide. That's Burke going in there. They've collared him pretty well. Not tapping the ball on now is Glenn Dinney. He had a spell in the forward line, back in defence. Finally, it goes over to Robertson. Robertson's clear out on the centre wing position. Goes for a long kick, looking for Cracker. Well played that time by the defensive car. That was Kennedy picking it up now. Back towards centre field, English overruns the ball. Corkamilis taps it on beautifully to English. Short pass. And what a pass it is. Ogier. Kick off the side of the boot. Big Madden's got to run for this one, but it'll beat him and the ball is out of bounds. But at least it's in Carlton's forward pocket position, about 10 metres around from their goal. Carlton, seven goals, 9.51 to North Melbourne, 5.5.35 at the 24-minute.